Residents of Fort St. John literally pulled together this weekend to raise money for the United Way of Northern BC. Twelve teams of ten members each took part in the organization's annual fire truck pull, with all the money raised supporting programs put on by the United Way. It's about impacting local people's lives, making sure that we have funds to help boost programs in this community to really deliver the services and we need to make sure that there are programs available for everybody in this community and so United Way every year works really hard to bring on board our partners, bring people together and work together collectively because it's collectively we can make that much greater difference in this community. This year, teams competed in four categories, the heavyweight and not so heavyweight divisions, most spirited team and most funds raised. We're a city that's blessed with lots of resources and it's always good to see these companies pouring back into our city. So it's good to see everybody coming out here and supporting the United Way. I know the organizers have put a lot of work into this and every year it's a really fun time. We're always looking forward to coming out. Along with a pancake breakfast, barbecue lunch and family fun zone, the event raised just over $35,000. A large portion came from Progress Energy, who raised just under $19,000 this year and have been involved with the fire truck pull since 2013 just really happy to support all of the programs that they give. We have a really great relationship with the United Way and want to give back to the community. Um, we, yeah, we, it, this is sort of our, our premier fundraising event for the year for, for the Northern United Way. And those funds will help the United Way of Northern BC run a variety of support programs that will benefit a range of people, from those in crisis to those living with disabilities to early education programs and the Better at Home program that helps around 140 to 190 seniors in any one year. So it's making sure seniors are safe and uh, we're breaking isolation. We're also addressing, you know, food security, so poverty, hunger. Um, we want to make sure children are not going to school hungry. Uh, we're making sure that families can afford to actually put food on the table. And uh, uh, so it's, you know, there are many, many challenges. There are lots of people struggling and we want to be right behind those programs and services that deliver those programs. And it's through United Way, uh, collectively, everybody coming on board, we can expand that impact even further. The United Way says the community support will help one in four people in the community. Brendan Miller, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.